I'd like to talk a little bit about what the Huey Project means to me. Um, uh, I've, this is, I'm in my fourth year as, as executive director, and um, uh, we have had a search on for a Huey to display at this wonderful foundation and wonderful museum uh, for the entire four years. Um, it means a lot to me because uh, uh, every veteran, uh, Vietnam veteran, uh, has some association with either a Huey helicopter or a helicopter of another make uh, because that was the transportation and also the assault weapon that we used uh, for the most part in Vietnam. Uh, the sound is distinct. Uh, uh, and I think the most important thing about this is the, the fact that it has pulled our incredibly talented and wonderful volunteers together for a project that they'll always be a part of and that will be forever indelible in their memories. Okay, my name is Ralph Ventola. I was in Vietnam 1968-1969, 25th Infantry Division. I was a helicopter right. support specialist. Uh, this helicopter is like coming home again. It uh, brings back a lot of good memories. Some bad, but mostly good. And it's like a part of my life that I thought I left behind, but you never really leave it behind. It's like you ride a bike. Once you ride a bike, no matter how long you've been off it, you ride it again. And this ship means the world to me and the guys that I've been working with are my brothers in arms. And I really appreciate what they've done for the organization and what they've done for the recovery of this helicopter. Hopefully people will appreciate seeing what the first helicopter war was really like. King Erbis. I was a helicopter pilot in Vietnam from May 1969 to May 70. And I flew Hueys. Right? The rebuilding of the Huey or restoring the Huey and putting it in front as a memorial to all the crews that, that gave their lives to Vietnam means a lot to me in closure. I lost a lot of friends over there. Also, it's a nice project pulling all the veterans together for a, a, a one cause, and that's to honor our people that we lost in Vietnam and other wars that were, were pilots and air crews. I'm Carl Burns, I'm a helicopter pilot in Vietnam at the three quarter cab. Having this helicopter for our memorial is such an important event. The UE, after all, is the symbol of Vietnam. Everybody, whether they were a grunt, a pilot, or a general, if they didn't fly one, they certainly saw it. The smell, the sound is still within me. This symbol is just so, so important. I'm very proud to be part of this project for our memory. The uh, helicopter project means a, a, a heck of a lot to me. Uh, it was my means of getting out into the field uh, when I was a uh, combat medic with the uh, recon platoon and getting back in, getting back safe. Uh, when I had wounded and all the medevac choppers, uh, these are the ones that came out uh, and, uh, and took my guys back to the rear and, and hopefully got them fixed up and, uh, and brought them on to uh, better medical treatment. And um, I'll just tell you a quick story. Um, I started with the project from day one and I was here for the first five, six, seven Mondays and I missed about three or four Mondays. And, and I honest to goodness can't tell you that the first day I was back after it, it just, I mean, I had a tear in my eye. Uh, grabbed the guys, hugged everybody, and uh, it, it, it means more than I could even express in words. I was lucky enough to learn how to fly with a bunch of Vietnam guys and Vietnam crew chiefs and everything I knew about aviation I learned from them. Uh, I was not in Vietnam, but having been uh, the beneficiary of all their talent and dedication, I learned how to fly from them, I learned how to keep things in perspective from them, and I learned how to be a better leader uh, from them. So uh, this is kind of my way to help them uh, pay back and uh, leave something behind for next generation so they remember all the great uh, guys and guys that died on through helicopters and that ruined the conflict and uh, laid the foundation for what the Army Aviation and Marine Aviation and Navy Aviation are today. So that's really what it means for me.